Solve the given rational inequalities, write the solution set graphed on a number line using interval notation, using inequality notation. Alright, so first thing we'll do is find where the function is 0, or expression is equal to 0, find where the expression is undefined. As notice it's uh, a, a rational expression compared to 0. If we don't have that we have to do some more work. All right, but since we have a rational expression compared to 0, then what we'll do is first we'll solve x minus 7 equals 0. And that would give me x equals 7. That's where the expression would equal 0. Then we'll solve x plus 4 times x plus 1, I'm sorry, x minus 1 equals 0. So then x plus 4 equals 0 which means x is negative 4, and x minus 1 equals 0, which means that x equals 1. All right, so we have three important values. We'll put those on our number line. All right, in numerical order, here's negative 4, here's 1, and here's 7. I'm not worried too much about scale here, just the basic idea. They have, but they do have to be in numerical order. All right, at x equals 7, that's where the expression was equal to 0. I would put a... Now, here I have to be careful because it's a strictly greater than inequality. All right, so it can never be equal. We don't want to know where it's equal to 0. It would be equal to 0 when x is 7. If we had an an or equal to an equality, I would put a solid point at the 7. But since it's not an or equal to, I could put an open point on all of these uh, important x values. Alright, so now I will test in each of the intervals. Testing x equals, how about negative 6? Alright, so then testing into the original inequality, I would have negative 6 minus 7 over negative 6 plus 4 times negative 6 minus 1. Now let's see, that would give me a negative over a negative times a negative. All right, so let's see, that's 1, 2, 3 negatives being multiplied and divided, so that result would be negative. All right, so negative in the first interval. Now, testing between negative 4 and 1, how about 0? So then I would have 0 minus 7 over 0 plus 4 by 0 minus 1. That would be a negative number divided by a positive number times a negative number. All right, so we would have a negative in the denominator. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Testing between 1 and 7, how about x equals 5? So I would have 5 minus 7 over 5 plus 4 by 5 minus 1. And so let's see, that would give me a negative over a positive times a positive, And the end result of that would be a negative. And finally, testing a number greater than 7, how about 10? I would have 10 minus 7 over 10 plus 4 by 10 minus 1. So that would give me a positive divided by a positive times a positive, which would be a positive. All right, we wanted to solve the inequality. x minus 7 over x plus 4, x minus 1 is greater than 0. So we'll shade the parts of the number line where the expression was positive and that's between negative 4 and 1 and to the right of 7. Since it's a strictly greater than inequality, we would put parentheses at each of the endpoints opening in the direction of shading. So there's part 1. Part 2, using interval notation, we would go from negative 4 to 1, union 7 to infinity. Notice how I have parentheses on all of those endpoints. 
3 using inequality notation. The first interval is when x is greater than negative 4 and less than 1. The second interval is when x is greater than 7. And we would connect those with the word or. Exercise B, we have x over x plus 4 is less than or equal to 5. We have to be more careful here because we're not, see this is not a 0, it's a 5. So what we have to do is make it a 0 by subtracting 5. So I have x over x plus 4 subtract 5 is less than or equal to 0. Now to work with this I need a single fraction. So let me write that 5 using a common denominator well, my common denominator would be x plus 4, so I'd multiply the denominator by x plus 4 and the numerator by x plus 4. So then I would have x minus 5 times x plus 4 over x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0. So that's x minus 5x minus 20 over x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0. So negative 4x minus 20 over x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0. And so I'm going to solve the inequality from this form, or now I'm comparing to 0. All right, so first, where was, would it be equal to 0? Solving the numerator equal to 0. Where is negative 4x minus 20 equal to 0? Well, that would imply that negative 4x equals 20 by adding 20 to both sides and then dividing by negative 4 x equals negative 5. Where is the denominator equal to 0? Where is the expression undefined? That would occur when x plus 5 is e I'm sorry, x plus 4 is equal to 0, which means that x is negative 4. Drawing my number line and putting my important values on there, I would have negative 5 and negative 4. Those are my important values. Now, since this is an or equal to inequality, I want to pass, I want to include any points where the numerator ended up being equal to zero. And that was at x equals negative five. So I would put a solid point at the negative five. And so that reminds me I would need to use a bracket at negative five uh, in the shading and in the interval notation. All right, so now let's test our intervals. Uh, let's test a number less than negative 5. How about negative 7? So I would have, let's see, negative 4 by negative 7 minus 20 over uh, negative 7 plus 4. So that would be what? 28 minus 20. 20 positive 28 minus 20, that's a positive. And negative 7 plus 4 is a negative. All right, so this would be negative in this interval. Second interval between negative 5 and negative 4. Uh, how about negative, uh, negative 4.5? So I'd have negative 4 by negative 4.5 minus 20 over negative 4.5 plus 4. Negative 4 times negative 4.5 is positive 18, and 18 minus 20 is a negative. Negative 4.5 plus 4 is a negative. A negative divided by a negative is positive. And testing a number greater than negative 4, how about 0? So then I'd have negative 4 by 0 minus 20 over 0 plus 4. That would be 0 minus 20, that's a negative over 0 plus 4 is a positive. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. All right, we wanted to solve negative 4x minus 20 over x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0, so we would shade wherever our testing came back negative. So I would shade this interval, an arrow. I would shade this interval to the right, and arrow. Now, I can include the negative 5. I have to exclude the negative 4. All right, so there's part one. Part two, writing the interval notation, negative infinity to negative five, bracket on the negative five, union, 
parenthesis negative 4 to infinity. Part 3, inequality notation. The first interval can be expressed as x is less than or equal to negative 5. Now, or the second interval, x is greater than negative 4. In exercise C, we have the inequality x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 5x minus 6 is less than 0. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is it's already compared to 0, so I don't need to add or subtract anything, but it might be useful to write each of these in their factored forms. So x squared minus 4 factors as x plus 2 by x minus 2, difference of squares x squared minus 5x minus 6 factors as uh, x plus 1 by x minus 6. So we want that to be less than or equal to 0. All right, so now first, where could the expression equal 0, whereas x plus 2 by x minus 2 equal to 0? Well, that implies that x plus 2 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals negative 2, and x equals positive 2. So that's where the expression would equal 0. Now, where is the expression undefined? Well, that would be when x plus 1 by x minus 6 is equal to 0. So that's x equals negative 1. I should be careful and write out the steps. So then x plus 1 would equal 0, which means that x is negative 1. Or x minus 6 equals 0, which means that x equals 6. So we have four important points to draw on our number line, which means we'll have five intervals to test. All right, so here's our number line. Let's put these in numerical order. Uh, so here's negative 2, negative 1, there's 2, and over here is 6. All right, so we have to test each of those five intervals. And I'm going to test it into this factored form. I will test into x plus 2 by x minus 2 over x plus 1 by x minus 6. All right, so how about we test negative 3? So I'd have negative 3 plus 2 by negative 3 minus 2 over negative 3 plus 1 by negative 3 minus 6. All right, so I'm just going to work with positives and negatives here. Uh, that would be a negative times a negative over a negative times a negative. So all of those are negative, and there's four of them, so we would end up with a positive in that interval. All right, now testing a number between negative 2 and negative 1, uh, negative 1.5. So this was negative 3, this is negative 1.5. So I'd have negative 1.5 plus 2, negative 1.5 minus 2, over negative 1.5 plus 1, negative 1 minus 6. So let's see, that would be a positive times a negative over a negative times a negative. Uh, three negatives, that would give me a negative over that second interval. Testing the third interval between negative 1 and 2, let's go with a 0. Let's test 0. 0 plus 2, 0 minus 2, over 0 plus 1, 0 minus 6. That would be positive, negative, positive, negative. So 1, 2, negative, so that would give me a positive result. Testing between 2 and 6, how about 4? I'd have 4 plus 2 by 4 minus 2 over 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 6. Positive, 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 negative. 1 negative, that's going to be a negative result. And finally, testing a number greater than 6, how about 7? I'd have 7 plus 2 by 7 minus 2 over 7 plus 1 by 7 minus 6, and that would give me positive, 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 which is positive. All right, we wanted, back in, 
right? What did we want? We wanted this to be less than zero. So we would shade wherever the testing came back negative. So we have this interval between negative two and negative one, and the interval between two and six. Now, we were strictly less than zero, so we can't include any of the endpoints. So parentheses on all of the endpoints. There's part one. Part two, my interval notation, would be from negative two to negative one, union two to six. And part three, the inequality notation. Negative two is less than x is less than negative one, or two is less than x is less than six.